This is Ricky News Channel. I'm James Menendez or Top Stories. S. President Joe Biden is being pressured by UK. Prime Minister Boris Johnson to extend the Afghanistan evacuation window past its current deadline of August 31st, the UK government said. Johnson will press Biden for an airlift extension at an emergency summit of Group of Seven leaders on Tuesday, the Associated Press reported. The virtual meeting has been convened by Britain. Biden has not ruled out the possibility of extending the deadline that was set before the Taliban swift takeover but said Sunday he hopes it won't be necessary. If their timetable extends even by a day or two, that will give us a day or two more to evacuate people, British Defence Secretary Ben Wallace said on Monday. Because we are really down to hours now, not weeks, and we have to make sure we exploit every minute to get people out. Biden's reluctance to heed Britain, or other allies who urged a delay to the US withdrawal, is the latest evidence that the UK, US special relationship is a lopsided alliance. About 1,000 British soldiers are stationed at Kabul's airport, alongside some 6,000 American troops, as part of efforts to manage the chaotic evacuation. Some UK military leaders have said Britain should continue the operation alongside other NATO allies once the Americans leave. But UK Armed Forces Minister James Heapy said there is a hard reality that there would be no international airlift without the way that the US are underpinning it. The mission in Kabul this week is fundamentally underpinned by a US presence, not just in terms of the number of troops that they have at the airport assuring its security, but also the role that the US Air Force are playing in delivering air traffic control and all of the other airfield services, he told Sky News. Heapy also acknowledged that an extension would require an agreement from the Taliban, as well as the United States. More than 150,000 British troops served in Afghanistan in the years after the US, led 2001 invasion, the largest contingent after the United States, and 457 died during the campaign. Senior UK military officers have expressed anger at the American pullout saying it exposes the hollowness of the transatlantic special relationship, a phrase used since World War II to stress the bonds of history, language, culture and shared diplomatic interests between Britain and the US. Biden had warm words about the alliance when he and Johnson met for the first time at a G7 summit in England in June. We affirmed the special relationship, it's not said lightly, the special relationship between our people, Biden said. Though the two leaders struck a warm tone when they met, they have very different temperaments and outlooks. The president staunchly opposed Brexit, Britain's exit from the European Union that Johnson championed, and once called populist crowd-pleaser Johnson a physical and emotional clone of former President Donald Trump, 